All right, we're about 65 foot. I've got to make it, I don't know, another 10 foot. But uh, here's the view. Anyways, we're going to the top. So, I don't know about you, but I'm not really scared of heights, but when you get over 40 or 50 feet in the air, hanging on ropes. Dang, dangling by a rope, yeah. It's, it's a, different. It's a different, different ball game. game. So, <laughs> it's hard not to lock up when you're up there, right? Oh, for sure. What's the feeling you get when you're, like right yeah. now, Hunter, right now, Hunter there, is above there, us. Yeah. A 10 minute job so is about to take an hour and a half. Oh, getting it all ready for y'all. Wiring in all these lights, running up down the ring. I just can't do it, it scares me. I'm not pretty enough for the camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. It'll probably knock me out there, I'll be falling. About to go sky high and be scared. I knew, I don't know what to do. I don't like it. Having that bucket on me, I don't like it. I'm not afraid of heights, but I'm scared of 70 and 80 feet. I let go. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life. Oh. <laughs> Landed like a little bird. So we're at this old derrick here in front of the Kilgore College. Um, they hired us to put some lights on it. We're doing like a color changing LED lights. It's all landscape lighting, but uh, it's real similar to what we did in Jefferson at the bridge. So we've been climbing up on this thing. It's 95 feet to the top. Uh, and it's pretty sketchy. Like this thing, the wind, when you get up there, you can feel the wind blowing this thing. It's moving around. Uh, got a lot of respect for the guys that used to work on these things. So it's a challenging job. It's an exciting job, but it's uh, super challenging. Anything we can do on the ground in 10 minutes, multiply that times about what, six or seven? And that's how long it takes to get in the air. We were talking earlier about we're not scared of heights, and we're not, but when you start getting 75 and 80 foot, and you got ropes holding you, and this thing's blowing, and the wind's moving, it, it starts getting a little bit sketchy. You'll start second guessing what you're doing. Um, but it's been a fun job, so we're getting close to being done with it now. We got asked to do this oil derrick just to highlight the city's history, really. Uh, Kilgore is a big oil field town. It's a big part of their identity. The oil museum, uh, it represents all of the oil field uh, here in the East Texas area and it just has history of everything we do. But it's about the Discovery Well actually in 1930. This is what changed Kilgore forever. We had just only a few hundred people here in Little Kilgore, but when that derrick went off, when they found that oil, if thousands of people came in overnight, it was just like the gold rush in California. It was just immediately and people came in from everywhere. By the time we're done, there's gonna be 36 lights on this derrick. The people who are running this have the ability to change every light to a different color if they want to. They can have a Christmas theme, a Halloween theme, a Kilgore College theme, you know, Rangerettes theme, there's the possibilities are endless. Oh. 